All right, hey, Mike McGrady here. Uh, I'm getting ready to. I, uh, first of all, I want to give you it's a, the date is August 12th, so I want to establish the date and the time of the year. What we're doing here is we're trimming up some Japanese maples. These beds have uh, got some weeds and stuff in them, so we're going through, we're weeding them, and we're, we're trimming the maples. I get this question a lot because people buy grafted, they buy rare Japanese maples, <clears throat> maybe they'll buy 10, 15, or 100. And then they, they're afraid to trim them and they don't know what to do with them. So they're always like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Mike, so I'm going to show you real quick. I'm just going to go through this bed. Um, this is, a, a, yeah, let me check the variety real quick. All right, this is Fire Glow. It's an upright red Japanese maple. So being upright means that it's going to grow up like this instead of weeping over like this. But as you can see, it's got one tall branch here that's really out of balance with the rest of the plant. So a lot of times what I will do is I'll pull this thing up into a ponytail just like that and then I'm just going to whack the top off just like that and now when this thing is going to put on new growth it's going to fill out all around that. So here's another little one here. This one isn't too far out of balance but the same thing. It's easy enough to get it in balance by just pulling it up and whacking the top off. I'm not hurting that plant at all and a year from now you're going to see a significant difference. Now these are a little bit bigger but the same thing. I'm going to pull them up into that big ponytail and I'm just going to whack the top and as that thing fills out, see this thing is growing a little bit this way because it's being crowded by these two plants here. So these two plants will definitely get dug later this year so I'm not I'm not going to trim, you know what, I am going to trim that because I don't like it. So, then this one, I'm going to trim a lot because this side of the plant is too heavy. The first thing I'm going to do is get in here and just take all of this off so that the plant is more balanced. There we go. I like it better already. Now, I know that, that there are a ton of critics out there who are going to tell me that I'm doing it all wrong and you're crazy, you're a maniac, you have no idea what you're doing, have at it. I don't care. I know that this works, I know it's not perfect, but I've got hundreds of these things to prune. And any pruning is better than no pruning at all. Okay, so that will significantly help that plant. So, Dustin, let's move down this way. So in here, um, see if I pronounce this right. This is, I think it's Benny Shanghai. This is really one of my one of my favorite maples. This thing has all kinds of color going on. But you know, we had a really rough winter, so a lot of stuff got damaged, including a lot of these maples. They didn't get hurt bad, but they got damaged. So that's dead. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the dead growth. Now this is important. Down here some of this growth at the very bottom is coming from below the graft union and we're going to have to reference on this page right below the video we need to put a link to our one pruning one finger pruning video. Now this thing is still a little bit out of balance so I'm going to take the tag and pull it down because I don't really want to cut the tag in half and then I'm just going to take the top off like that to get this thing a little bit more balanced. It's still not perfect, but for now, it's fine. Same thing here, we got some dead, some tips that died back. Get a weed in there, pull this thing up into a ponytail, whack the top off. Here's another one right here. You got some, oh, that's a dead branch from way down inside the plant. All right, now, this one's got branches pretty much going everywhere. So I'm gonna take this one a little bit heavier all right, now, I really, all right, so now these side branches are still a little bit too long. So anyway, what I'm doing is I'm pulling the plant in tight, because then when the new growth comes out, it's going to fill out and be really nice and tight and full. Now, right here we have weeping maples. You see this branch? This branch, this is, this tree is grafted right here, so it's grafted up this high. This is a, what's called a high graft. This branch is kind of green and red, but it's coming from below the graft union. 
So I'm going to take that off completely. And you can see that doesn't match the top of the tree at all. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take a look at this thing. But I kind of like it just the way it is. It's a little bit out of balance here and there. So I'll make a few minor adjustments. Now this one got a little tiny sucker down there. So I just took my thumb and pushed, wiped that off. But this one is growing way out of balance this way. So I'm going to pull this side up and I'm going to just whack it like that. Same thing here. Now, any new growth that comes out is going to be starting here. So that the plant is going to fill out and be balanced very nicely. See this plant is starting to weep. Look at that crazy branch right there. There's no good reason in the world to leave that thing on there. Same thing here. So when I reach down there and I pull that off, these things are weeping almost to the ground. You know, that might be okay later, but not right now. So right now I'm just going to trim it up a little bit. Same thing here. This thing is growing a little bit out of balance this way. So my tree is here. So all of this is coming off. And yeah, yeah, I know I should be in there trimming, you know, one branch at a time. But you need to know, that's not how I do it. Because if I did, I wouldn't get anything done around here. All right. But I promise you, a couple of years from now, these are going to be awesome plants because of what I'm doing with them right now sure what happened to that one. We'll fix that one after we're done shooting the video. Same thing there. Just tighten it up a little bit because I want I don't want new growth out here. I want uh, this is my plant. So I don't want new growth out there now. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. Just like that. I'm going to take my glasses off because I'm sweating all over them. You can't see what I'm doing. So now I'm back to over here. I'm back to these these Benny Shanghai. Um, that's that's a dead branch. I'll get that out of there. This branch is dead to about here. Now see this branch is just way out in left field. So I'm going to take my old get it up into my little ponytail, and just like that. Now the new growth is going to grow in a uniform manner. Same. Same thing here. I'm going to salvage the tag because it's on a dead branch. So I'm going to remove the dead branch, remove that dead branch, and then I'll put the tag back on. But now I still got a little bit here on the sides. Tighten that up, and I'm going to stick my tag back on there. So I hope, I really hope that this is helping you to realize that it's August 12th, it's the dead of summer, and this is the time that I have found to actually do some pruning. So here I am out here doing it. All right, another tag coming off. Now see, this is dark green coming from below the graft union, so that's all coming off. And then that branch is growing a little sideways. So anyway, I think that's a pretty good representation of what I do to these maples. And uh, hopefully we'll come back in here in a year and show you what the, what the growth looks like. These beds haven't even been weeded yet. We started weeding over there and didn't get this far. So these are Twombly's Red. This is an awesome plant, but um, I think that what I'm going to do in here is I probably will dig all these and pot them up. Then we will prune them when we can get them out and see before sale. When we prune things, you know, if I, if I don't intend to sell it this year, then I, or even next spring, I'm going to prune it a lot differently. If I'm going to sell it right away, then I'm going to be more selective. Probably let my wife do it because she does a great job at that. She takes out any dead wood and she balances the plant really, really nice when we have it out up for sale. But if it's a year before we're going to sell it, I'm going to prune it a lot harder to get it to flush out and make a lot of new growth. So anyway, 
Uh, that's just a little cr crash course on pruning grafted Japanese maples and I hope it's useful to you. If you have any questions, just post them below here on the blog. I'm Mike McGrory.